Davis reads the game so nicely. Going to return the favour here to Bowen, who's got Darcy Maloney on in the pocket and goes in that direction. It's just poor checking. Take a tough kick from here. Going to have an easier option in the end. Beautiful movement from the Cats. And Shelley Scott. First game of the year last week down in Warrnambool. Can she get the Cats on the board in a major sense? Absolutely. Amy McDonald able to show them a clean pair of heels and they chain it forward. Featherston got it from Morrison, gave it back to her. And Nina's loping inside the forward 50, uses Parry. Parry over the top looking for Sermon. Will it sit for her in the pocket? Shimmies, shakes, snaps. Won't get the finish though. It'll sit up for low. Her handball turned over. Shear got it to Morrison, got it to Maloney. Around the corner and she's got the goal for Geelong. Here's yeah. Ooh, Darcy Maloney and Ebony Antonio. Oh, will we looked at? Absolutely, it will. And that's just an experience of young players. Just a moment there, a bit of a rush of blood to the head. Got to learn to contain those. With Ebony Antonio, see them clashing here and a little stray elbow there, which is in a great look. Yeah, you, you think that one will be looked at. Didn't need to do a bit unnecessary and certainly uh, unusual to see a W player kind of... Former All-Australian, fourth season in the top job. She's leading those young cats really well. It was such a beautiful midfield, the way in which they all play together, but so young. 39th game today, but has only kicked one goal in her AFLW career. She's got plenty of skill. Can she finish here? That's a lovely kick. Sarah Verrier on the board. Spills to Prasparkas. Amy McDonald, centering kick. Great tackle, Bowen. Forced the ball loose, picked up by Darcy Maloney. Now Webster, can she get it through and beat the half-time buzzer? She can! Really try and wrench their way back into the contest. Prasparkas wrenches it out of the middle to Amy McDonald. Back to Georgie Prasparkas. A marauding run inside the 50 to Shear. That's the Cats at their best. Two last week for Chloe Shear. Kicked the only two goals for the Cats. 12 on the season so far. Chalk up number 13. It's been the thing that's let them down so far this season. Well, up their, their work inside the arc. Goals from just 13% of their entries. Got another chance here. Ties out the back, couldn't take the mark. Flicks it over the top or bounced away from Miller. But Antonio can run into the open goal and pinch one back for the Dockers. Another stoppage win for Geelong and it's that triumvirate. Amy McDonald to Maloney. To Morrison, right onto the chest of Shear. So 1 3. Hasn't had the kicking boots on all afternoon, Chloe Shear, but struck that one beautifully. Got tie inside the 50 and not much more. Maybe you don't need much more than on your tie. Makes the position, does the roving. You definitely don't need anything more up front than on your tie. Darcy Maloney's kick up toward Derby couldn't be marked. Crockett Girls trapped it, but only for a moment. Scott there for the Cats, dropped it. Just batted around. Out toward Bowen. Oh, the little pir pirouette as she enters the 50. Pops it over the top to Derby. And Darby can set up an open goal through Jackie Parry. Kearns is a little bit sore off the footy as well. Webster for the Cats. Time ticking down. They needed a win Geelong and they got it. The Cats too good for the Dockers.
They move to four and three on the season, up to sixth on the table. And Geelong get things done by 24 points.